Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome to UK here. This is 1971 Indian Naval Front. Uh, it's a historically <clears throat> driven or historically accurately driven um, game. I don't quite know what to call it yet. I've only played just a very short sort of stint, about 10 minutes, just to make sure that the game um, actually loaded and worked okay. I've run into a few problems already, but I tell you what, this game is unique. I have never seen anything quite like this. I think it's going to need a bit of work. This game has hit a lot of controversy during its build for whatever reason, and I don't really want to get into the political side of things, um, but they have pushed through the development and they've got the game to release. Well, the game releases actually in... Four days? No, actually, I don't know when the release date is. Q1 2023. So I guess what I've got here is a very, very early look at the game. Um, now, let's jump in. There is no official controller support, but uh, Steam will configure your Xbox 360 controller, or my Xbox 360 controller, to work to a point uh, in this game. And you can see that pitch bird ship look up and down is mouse Y. We come in here to gameplay and invert the Y axis and hit apply. And I did this earlier, it didn't work. We'll jump in and we'll see how this goes. Task Force 1, date 25th of November 1971, 11.30am. Uh, we're in the Bay of Bengal. INS Vikrant Task Force moving closer to coast of Miskahapatnam. I'm not going to get these names right. To create a naval blockade as instructed by the Eastern Naval Command. Let's go. Mission Brief. Good morning, gentlemen. You must know that there is an increasing political tension between East and West Pakistan, which has ultimately created a warlike situation. Your objective is to create a naval blockade near South Bay of Bengal in, in Bengal in order to keep an eye on your enemy ship movements and incapacitate them. You are also advised to watch your movements and inspect the region considering enemy ships patrolling your position too. We have to safeguard Indian borders and also our sovereignty, says Jai Hindi. Or Jai Hind. I don't think it's an I. Primary objectives move towards the sign coordinates. Units are Majestic Class Carrier, INS uh, Vikrant R11, and two Leopard Class Frigates. We've also got Hawker Sea Hawk Jets, White Tigers. These are British built aircraft. And the way that they transition between the different control mechanisms, I, I, I just think it's quite interesting whether or not it's going to work. I'm undecided yet, but I'm intrigued. So let's jump in and have a look. Bit of uh, bit of information there about the Seahawk. Okay, so this is basically the tutorial. WASD and the mouse to look around. Compass points the direction where the camera is looking. Radar is toggled with the R key. North is always pointing upwards, no matter which way you're going. And you know the position of enemy friendly and neutral bodies within a five kilometer radius. Player position is always at the center of the radar. It's important to co-relate the direction of compass with radar to get quick reading of other vehicle positions. Weapon panel lets you know categories of weapons installed on a particular ship. On this we have four. We've got 20 mil, 20 mil guns, 40 mil cannons, missile, torpedo. Pressing 1 to 5 activates the weapon respectively. By default the 20 mil anti-air gun is always selected first. A few weapon icons display a counter which means it comes with a limited count. Not entirely sure what that means. 
The blueprint is also the health bar of the ship that's over here. The green colour uh, fill keeps reducing as you take hits. The red dots indicate the position of active wet weapons, and yellow dots indicate selected weapon from where you can fire. To select an activated weapon, the player needs to point the cursor towards the position of the weapon from the main view and just scroll up to get to the weapon view. Speed indicator lets you know the speed of the ship in knots. Okay, so we are heading over there. See as I push Attention, forward on the W button, button we start to speed up. Vessel condition inspection as per standard operating procedure. Over. I captain. Engine room status. Sharp speed at 40 RPM. High density normal. Over. Third and fourth deck. Report for any leakage. Negative captain. Ever water line. Over. Confirm aircraft status report. 7 KSW and 9 Hawker the Hawk jet. Ready for action, sir. Over. Primary flight control. Read weather. Surface temperature at 28 degrees Celsius. Wind speed 14 km per hour. Clear blue skies. Good day for sortie, sir. Over. Roger that. All units are Drill complete. I repeat, drill complete. Continue moving towards assigned location. Over and out. So I think you'll agree the graphics are adequate, they're not over the top good, they're not incredible, but they're certainly not bad. I quite like them, and I'm intrigued to see what happens. We will very shortly be jumping into one of the uh, aircraft and taking off from the ship, and then we will be in charge of that aircraft. Now, this is where the problem comes. Um, I'm obviously fairly uh, well known. Um, I don't, I don't mean I'm fairly well known. What I meant to say was I, I know how to fly. I'm fairly, I know fairly well how to fly a plane. So all of my control inputs are based on how you fly a plane. But unfortunately, in this game, they're reversed. And swapping the axes doesn't make any difference, or it didn't earlier. I'm hoping doing it in the first menu may make a difference. So what is more than likely going to happen is I'm just going to fly straight into the water because I'm pulling it back on the stick to go up and it's nose diving straight into the water. Hold back. Slow down the vessel. Confirm visuals of explosion site. Affirmative. Slope from behind the terrain in northwest. Over. Roger. Stand by. Over and out. So here we go. So we're now in the uh, in the Hawker. Spacebar will start the engine, and within a few seconds, the aircraft will be pushed by catapult assisted takeoff system. Use W and S um, on the use W and S to control the speed of the aircraft. And a D to your left and right. Roll the aircraft with the mouse. Pitch up and down with the mouse and right click for free look. Toggle the landing gear by pressing G. You can also scroll up once to get into the cockpit. Scroll up twice to uh, get like a, a front through, through the aiming crosshair basically. Alright. Player controllable jets have two kinds of weapon, primary and secondary. Click the left mouse button to fire the primary weapon. 20mm uh, Hispano guns. Any of these secondary weapons are installed as per the mission requirements. Unguided rockets. You press left shift and, f and uh, left shift and left mouse key button. Again, we've got the health bar here. We've got the radar here. We've got kilometres per hour, feet, and whether or not the landing gear is active. So, got here for takeoff. Go, go, go. At this moment in time, I know not whether the aircraft is going to go up or down. So I've reversed the axes, but unfortunately, it's still the wrong way around. I pull back and I dive down, I push up, and I go 
go the other way. Now, one, one other thing I've noticed is when you bank, I'm banking very hard to the left, but I'm still flying dead straight. I'm not actually turning at all. So these are things they need to fix. In order to turn, you have to yaw the aircraft, otherwise it won't turn at all. You can see I'm already, already struggling to reverse my brain so that I don't dive straight into the water. Oh my God. It's very, 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 very close. So this could be fantastic if they sorted the controls out. I think it looks great. And it flies quite well. Except for the fact that it doesn't fly like an aeroplane. Um, so it's got potential, but I think it needs work. Switch to the uh, Xbox controller now, and uh, I'm going to struggle like hell not to crash because it is so so delicate and responsive. Can't even see this right now. going to crash. Everything is back to front. Whoa! I got lucky there, I tell you. See, I'm, I'm fighting my natural urge to fly it like a proper aeroplane, and it's really difficult. So, anyway, this is the cockpit view. As you can see, rolling hard to the right, uh, left rather, doesn't do anything. It just carries on flying in a straight line, and that's a real shame because I, th I think this game's graphically, I think it's got a lot going for it. Um, whoever, whoever decided this is how the plane was going to fly should be shot <laughs> because any pilot coming into this game of any skill level is going to struggle like hell. Doing. 
what's going to happen is I'm going to die before I actually get a shot off at any of these enemies. If I fly upside down, maybe that will work. Ah, so you don't have unlimited weapons. Well, that's kind of good. But annoyingly, all my shots are now... Oh, I hit! I got a hit! Got three hits. You know, it looks like I'm showing off, but actually, that's the only way I can fly the plane fly upside down so it behaves a little bit more like I expect it to. We nearly took one down. I don't think we're going to survive. Yeah. There's the one we nearly shot to bits. It's got potential, hasn't it? It's got real. They're going to need to fix that if they want this to be a successful game, because it's bad. It's so bad. It's like they've never ever flown a plane ever. Attention, all units. Conducting direct drill operation. Vessel condition inspection as well. I'll skip all this for you. Um, and bring you back when we get into the the battle. Okay, here we go again. Skip all this. You are here for takeoff. Go, go, go. Maybe I'll try the controller again, I don't know. Why is the aiming reticule so high? That seems really high to me. Just to prove to you that it's not me being a pillock, we'll turn this off so that it's no longer inverted. We'll hit the apply button. We'll hold the apply button. We'll do everything we can. Go back into it. Resume. Visual consumption of explosion site. Merchant ship shot down by the old ship. It hasn't changed. Copy. Look for survivors and report. Oh my Negative. good god. I repeat. Negative. Uh, it's worse with the controller. Let's see if we can take one down. And 
around you'll notice that the green thing over the top of the uh, boat is right in the way of the Why is my reticule all the way up there? too high, right? I don't play games like this with a keyboard and mouse, so I'm probably not the best advocate of it in the first place, but I genuinely find this incredibly difficult. I cannot see the boat. That's my mouse clicking outside of the screen, so that doesn't help either. That's, that's my mouse. My mouse going outside of the screen. I, I, I cannot get past. It looks really good. It's got so many great looking features to it. The key problem for me is they've got to sort out this that the aeroplane controls. If they can give me a full hot ass support so I can plug a joystick in and proper do it, you know, proper proper do it, then I'm gonna love this game. Until then, uh, I'm just gonna keep crashing into the water or losing my mouse off the screen onto another screen and not being able to fly anything at all. It's frustrating because I think there's a fantastic game here. I just can't show you it just yet. So take this as a first look and hopefully the devs will watch it and listen and implement something that works so that I can actually fly the plane. And when we get to that point, I'll come back and show you some more. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Let the bass kick. Let the bass kick. Let the bass kick.